All this is Dr. Mubeen Sayed from drbean.com. Welcome to one more show. So yesterday we talked about UK and their report for COVID. One part of that that was important for all of us, and that was the uh, the deaths in 50 plus vaccinated versus unvaccinated. The data showed that deaths are more in vaccinated compared to the unvaccinated. I want you to make sure that we can go over that data. Yesterday, I could not do it because I had a family um, uh, member who was not well, and I was uh, taking care of them. So let's start with that data so we can wrap it up. At the same time, there are a couple of news as well that I would like you to, uh, to be aware of. So tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. morning, not evening, Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Pacific time, we'll have Dr. Paul Marek with us. He has actually sent me a few um, papers that he wants to discuss, for example, Epstein-Barr virus and uh, COVID and herpes and COVID and so on. So I'm going to be looking at those uh, papers this evening and so tomorrow we'll discuss them. So that is one important news. Secondly, we'll have Steve Kirsch tomorrow evening, 6 Thirdly, um, the cool bean who has uh, asked for the uh, return home uh, painting, uh, I am very sorry for your loss of your husband to COVID. And we will, I've asked my team, uh, I would like to gift, gift it to you instead of selling it to you. So I've asked my team to figure out how to get the prints. I do not know how to get the prints. So they will figure that out and then they would send you the painting and my condolences for your loss. So with this, let's start our discussion. The question is, so here is the data, or let, let's start with the painting as well. So this is another painting that I did, I think it's about five or six days ago or more, last weekend, I guess, or this weekend. <laughs> the days are just a haze for me. So this, uh, the title for this painting is Let's Rest Here. So I hope you like it. And now let's look at the data. So this is the report. This report is once again, 25th June, 2021. This is a report from UK. What I did was I downloaded some of the data that is sort of relevant to this. This data that I'm going to show you is the, this is the data. This data shows the percentage of uh, 50 plus population in the UK. And however, this data is 2011 census data. So we are in 2021, so this is 10 years ago. 2021 census data, I think has been collected and they're processing it. So I didn't have that available. So I used 2021 data and extrapolated that to 20, I used 2011 data, extrapolated that to 2021. So that means the numbers that I'll, I'll share with you may have a margin of error there. And once we have the 2021 data, we can then have a better understanding. So with this, I'm going to turn this off as well. And here is the data that was important. This was the data that was sent to me earlier. And the data is this. If you see here, this is the number of deaths in vaccinated versus unvaccinated. So if you see here, unvaccinated folks, 50 plus, there were a total of 976 cases of Delta variant in 50 plus unvaccinated. Out of those 976, 38 died. In the 50 plus group that was vaccinated, two dose vaccination, do not know it is fully vaccinated or not, meaning two weeks after the second dose or soon after the second dose. So that data is not there. So I'm just going to assume it to be the fully vaccinated. So two dose, and that assumption is actually wrong, but I also don't want to assume to not be fully vaccinated. So folks who have received two doses, out of them, 3,546 people had the infection. And then out of them, 50 died. 
So this is where the comparison came in and, and folks said that, hey, more deaths in vaccinated versus unvaccinated. So I wanted to look at the percentages and overall population numbers. In addition to this, there is 21 dose post first vaccine dose or greater than 21 days post first vaccine dose and the number of cases there as well. So again, this is Delta and we are talking specifically 50 plus uh, uh, group and we do not have gender data. So with all of these caveats, let's look at the data. So here is what we have. 2011 census showed that the population of 50 plus is 34% of the overall population in UK. Now, in terms of the cases, as I just showed you, two doses vaccinated, 3,546 cases, out of them 50 died, that is 1.5%, 1.4%, 5%. Unvaccinated, 976, again, this is 50 plus, 976, 38 died, that is 3.9%. So the infection, the death rate is lesser than half in vaccinated. But consider this that, of course, the vaccinated number one, that is the group that has a higher age group in it. Secondly, that is the group that has a higher number of people with vulnerabilities. So more comorbidities and more cellular senescence or the cellular weakness is present in this group. So let's look at this data. 2020 population for UK, 68 million. 2011 census says that 34% are 50 plus. I use the same number and that makes it about 23 million folks in UK that are 50 plus. And so this number is a, an extrapolation. Whites here are 93%. So if I go here to this table, these are the tables that I showed you in the, and this data is also census data from 2011. And here is a breakdown of various uh, ethnicities. So whites are 93% or were 93% in 2011, it, that number may have changed. So here, if we take that as 93% now as well, then there are 21 million, 21.5 million whites in the 50 plus age. Minorities or ethnicities are 7% and that is 1.6 million. Then the second important thing to note is that whites are 93.7% vaccinated. 93.7% are vaccinated who are above the age of 50 years. So if I see here, this is the, again, this is the data from Office of National Statistics. This is latest data, this is not 2011. Of course, we're talking about the vaccine and COVID, which is recent. So if you see here, if I hover my mouse over here, white British, 93.7% vaccinated. And as I move downwards from here, you'll see that the percentage continues to reduce. So Indian, 90.9%, Bangladeshi, 86.9%, Chinese, 83.7%, mixed, 81, other, 80, white, other, 80, Pakistani, 78, Black uh, Africans, 71, Black Caribbean, 66.8. So what I did was I took an average of them. So again, not the fairest thing to do, but I took an average and that came to be about 75%. So here is that data. 93% of whites are vaccinated, 50 plus. That makes about 19 million, 19.9 19 million or 20 million. So that leaves 1.5 million 50 plus white British folks who are not vaccinated. Secondly, 75% average for ethnic group, 50 plus. That makes 1.2 million and about half a million, 400,000 are unvaccinated. So then total vaccinated are 21 million, 21.2 million. Total unvaccinated are about 2 million, 1.9 million. 
Now, out of them, out of 21 million, there are a total of 7,499 cases of infection. That includes everyone after the first dose. Within the 21 days of the first dose, after the 21 days of the first dose, or after the second dose, all of them together, out of this 21 million, 7,499. One thing to continue to keep in mind is that this is not it. We are not done. That is, we can't say that fine, out of 21 million, 7,500 folks have become infected. Now, no more will be infected. So this is a matter of time. And this window is from the 1st Feb to 21st June. As the window continues of the time, the infections would continue. So infection is not stopped either in the vaccinated or unvaccinated. So this is just this window of time. This makes 0.03% infection rate during this time. Out of all vaccinated, one dose or two dose, 68 folks died. That is 0.9%. Unvaccinated, 1.9 million. 976 infections, that is 0.05%. And same uh, caveat here as well, that this is not finished. This is just this window. And as the time continues, the infections would continue as well till the pandemic is over. And the deaths are 38 out of this 976. That is 3.9%. Two dose vaccinated. Now, if we just look at that specific area, what are the what is the number? This number I do not know. So the overall number I could extrapolate, but exactly how many 50 plus who have received two doses, I could not know that. I'm sure that the British uh, health agencies know it. I just could not find it. So this number is not known, but 3,546 cases, infections. So I cannot tell the percentage here because I do not know the total. 50 deaths, and that is 1.4%. So yes, as an absolute number, the number of deaths are more in the vaccinated. However, if you see here, the number of uh, vaccinated folks, 50 plus, are more as well. And the number of vaccinated, unvaccinated 50 plus are less. And because of that, there is this count, absolute count difference. Percentage wise, it is still a better outcome with the vaccinated. So that is the total discussion for today. This is the part that was left out from yesterday. So I know it is only 12, 13 minutes, but I wanted to make sure that I follow up on this one. Let's do this. I am going to wrap up this talk and then I'll come back for chit chat and let's do a little talk um, here. Somebody is saying, OK. <laughs> Gazer Gazer says, how come vaccinated people tend to heavily push the unvaccinated to be in their gang? Gazer Gazer, I actually find it to be the other way around. If you look at my videos and the comments underneath, even after um, blocking those who just come in and, and curse and abuse and just are um, out of their uh, mind, even after that, I leave a lots of comments there. And if you see, they are actually mostly unvaccinated, uh, so angry, so upset, so insolent, so less polished with their messaging. So. Um, to me, it seems like those who are comfortable with their decision, either with vaccination or not vaccination, they are fine. They have, a, they have made a decision. They have a reason for that. And they're not bothering others. But those who are still on the fence, they are taking shots at everyone who is on the opposite side of their, um, their uh, message. My message has been very simple, and it would stay that way. And that is, for me, it is presenting the data. And then what is your decision is your decision.
So Madhi Rose says, why are there only 976 people infected in unvax versus 7,500? That is exactly what I just explained. The, the groups, I just explained that. The groups are larger. So look at this. This is 21 million people. This is 1.9 million people. If you look at percentage of people getting infected, the unvaccinated is still a higher percentage. That is that's what I just discussed. So uh, Susan Love Shusky says, why don't you get booted from YouTube for talking about this? I don't know. <laughs> Some people think that YouTube, because I have this plaque over here, because of that plaque, YouTube gives me a get free card. So there is a question, would Novavax act any milder to individuals with existing tinnitus or meaners or Novavax also includes results in peripheral cytokines like SSN? So, so far, I haven't read their debrief. So because they have not published that debrief, they have not given out the side effects pro profile, we cannot say what will happen. So I am actually very curious as well about this. So Barbara says, vaccinated people are also becoming very careless and selfish not wanting to wear masks and not understanding that many people cannot get vaccine yet due to autoimmune issues, EBV, etc. And Barbara, you are very correct. So at least I can, again, I've always given my own example. I wear masks. My family wear masks as well. So even when uh, we are vaccinated, there are two reasons for wearing masks, multiple reasons, but two important reasons are, number one, it is a social norm at this time. And so not wearing a mask and then explaining that, hey, I'm vaccinated, that is just kind of not the best thing to do in social settings. And secondly, vaccinated people are still at risk as well, as we can see. So wearing a mask is only still valuable. So Arun says, Whatever the data is, seems that after 21 days, few people died. We are close to new strain. After 21 days, fewer. No, we are not close to a new strain. Not at all. I mean, look at the, the change itself and look at the impact. This impact is actually with alpha. The impact was larger than delta. I talked about it and then I said that they said the report said, please don't make this comparison. So that's why I did not stress on it. Otherwise, if I go back here, look at this. This is alpha. And look at the numbers. Alpha impact under 50 years of age. That's 0.1%. Delta under 50 years of age, that's zero. Similarly, alpha greater than 50 years of age, death percentage 4.8%. Delta, greater than 50 years of age, vaccinated, unvaccinated, it's a blended number, 1.1%. And again, they have this data here, but they said, they wrote in their report that hey, it is not fair to compare them because alpha had been in the society for a long time. It was at its peak. People were less vaccinated. So it is not a correct comparison to do. So because of that, I did not stress on it yesterday. So if you think about it to say, you know what, I want to compare, is Delta more dangerous? You can actually see that Delta is not more dangerous so far. As it peaks further, we will know more. Rima says, uh, please help a cool bean with serious liver failure. He's worried about taking the vaccination. 
if he takes ivermectin before and after, would that be okay in terms of preventing vaccination long haul or reactions? Long term, ivermectin can affect ivermectin. So, <clears throat> Rima, I hope you know that I cannot give a specific advice to a specific person. So, without saying that, in theory, if somebody has liver failure, there is a reduction in immune response. And what is the part of the immune response that is less? Let me just quickly draw it. Um, so we know that as the immune system starts responding, so let's say this is the liver. As the immune system starts responding, interleukins are produced. Those interleukins come in and trigger the, the liver to make acute phase acute phase proteins. These acute phase proteins then take part in uh, the inflammation. For example, C-reactive protein and ferritin and other such things are increased and liver takes part in that. So when the liver has um, less function left, that means acute phase response is weaker. So taking a vaccine should actually not have a stronger reaction. Instead, the reaction will be milder or lesser, number one. Number two, the role of ivermectin in this case is that because liver breaks down ivermectin, majority of the ivermectin is broken down by liver and then eliminated in the GIT. So if for some reason liver is not functioning fully, then the ivermectin's dose need to be reduced. Now, how reduced needs to be calibrated with the how uh, reduced is the function of the liver. So that is usually the pharmacies in the US, at least they have computers where they can see the liver functions or the body, the, the labs, and then compare what is elimination time for a specific drug and say, hey, the drug levels should be this much low. So I cannot extrapolate that here to say half or lesser than half because I do not know exactly the labs. But this is how it should be. Christine says, all mainstream media are hard selling vaccines, newspaper, radio, television, newscast. And I can understand that. Yes, they are doing it. And in that process, they are eliminating, eliminating deliberately the other choices. And so that is, that is, I think, very wrong. Okay, so I saw this. Abhinav says, Sir, would Novavax act any milder to individuals with existing tinnitus? So I think I just responded to that, that we actually don't know. We do not have their uh, side effect profile yet. Eileen says, what happens to the ivermectin in the less functioning liver? It is uh, less, it is eliminated slowly if liver was not functioning at all, then the person will not be alive. So the person is alive because liver is functioning to an extent that it is um, it is uh, keeping the life continuous. That means that ivermectin will be eliminated as well, but just slowly. That means if it would be increased if you give the regular dose, the amount of ivermectin will continue to pile up in the body. So it just has to be reduced in its dose. Doug says chat. So yes, let's do that. So I'm going to hang up now and I'll, we'll go to the chat. Please do me a favor. Please like, subscribe and share. And there are links in the description if you would like to support this work. Thank you very much. And I'm going to see you in chat.